Hey guys, it's Granddad Merle Thrawn, and today I am doing the fourth one of the six Bad Batch members I am intending on reviewing before I get before the series ends. Now, today I am doing Echo, otherwise known as CT1409. Now, with Echo, I think it's the best case of describing why I prefer their Season 1 armor. Because Echo's Season 1 armor looks awesome. And then his Season 1 armor just looks weird because they added too much color with him. And that even his pauldron here is, like, tan. And I didn't like that. So, yeah, Echo, I really prefer his Season 1 armor outfit. Um, now, with Echo's Black Series figure... There are two major problems that I kind of have with him. One of them actually spans on two things, and it's probably best if I start with the box when I do this. That arm thing. It was never in the show, and they decided to include it with the figure. I never got it out of the box because well, I didn't. It's never in Echo, and I know it's never gonna show up because they changed their armor appearances. In season two. So not only does do they include this weird thing, which I'd be fine with if it was just that, but then they ruin the box by adding it on the box art. So yeah, that's kind of a big issue. Um, other than that, I think this is, this would have been a great box image because it has the Marauder in it, but then they decided to ruin it by putting this stupid arm attachment. Black Series does this with a lot of figures. If, for example, uh, when they want to make a character worth more money than it is, they include all these random props. Like, for example, Cobb... Well, no, not Cobb Vant, because those are good accessories, but the Return of the Jedi Book of Boba Fett. Who actually really wants his gun sliced in half as an accessory? I don't... I'm sure if you do, that's okay, but... Like, it doesn't mean that the figure has to be an extra $10 and that they need to include it. More accurately, the gaming greats Cal Kestis, how they throw in the double-bladed green lightsaber, which I'm fine with because in the game, you can upgrade and change your lightsaber color. But then when they do it with characters such as Echo, with no reasoning, it just is annoying and it ruins the box for this figure. That's my main problem with the figure. The other problem I have is a little simpler, in that his helmet is extremely easy to remove, but is a nightmare to put back on, okay? Now, I love how they actually went the extra mile in making it that when you do remove the helmet, Echo does look like the way he does. He might look a little too pale in the video, but the figure is not actually that pale. It looks better than this. But the problem, well, it's the, yeah, but speaking of, let's get off the negative for a bit. His face looks very accurate. They got every little detail about this figure accurate, and then they just added in that arm. But yeah, they have even made these little ex new leg things for Echo to make it more like how Echo has robotic legs, in that they're different in order to move. And they make it more like Echo. Even his backpack has a different attachment in that, look at this. All the other ones have a much easier to make it stay on, but with Echo, it's a lot simpler, and yet it still stays on more. It's kind of funny. Um, they got the one blaster thing right, which I th appreciate. Yeah, they got all these great details accurate about Echo, but then they threw in that arm thing. And then the other problem was with his helmet. How they make it that you have this little strap-on thingy here, so... Hang on. They make it so that you can actually put his helmet back on, and then you can close this. It is a nightmare trying to put that helmet back on. So you better give me a like, because I'm going to be spending all of next week trying to get his helmet back on. So you better press that like button. Um, you know what? No, I can't. The rest of the video, he's got to wear his helmet off. Uh, I'm just going to show the helmet then itself. Uh, the helmet looks very accurate. Um, that's a good thing. So yeah, the only real things that this this figure could have been amazing, but then they just ruined it with that. I'm even fine with the helmet thing. It's just like a slight inconvenience. Well, it's a big inconvenience, but still, I'm fine with that. But then they just throw in this stinking arm thing. It's not even. 
it, that shows up in the show, which I would have actually, th I think that would have been a cool concept. If it showed up in the show, I'd be happy with it. But it doesn't, and it's never going to show up in the show. And that's what ruins the figure, because it ruins the box. Now, I collected Black Series boxes for the wall art thing. They're the only things I even keep the boxes to. But, yeah, this box is could have been an amazing box, but then they ruined it. Also, side note, why is Echo number 11 in the Bad Batch wave? Why isn't Echo number 5 or number 6? I'd settle for that, but no, he's number 11. 11. Hunter's number 1, Crosshair's number 2. Then they have the Elite Squad, then Tech, then Wrecker, then I think it's Rampart or Imperial Armor Crosshair. And it's just like, and then why is Echo number 11? He is a member of the Bad Batch. The show is called The Bad Batch. But yet Echo doesn't even get to be one of the top 10. No, he's the top 11. Um, anyway, back to the pros. I do also like how they got the antennas on his backpack, similar to Tex, but yet unique in its own way. So yeah, this figure looks very accurate to the show, and I'm very proud of how they made it look so good. Um, I do have, it has its problems, as I've been going over a bit repetitively. Um, his arm does not actually spin, which I think would have been a cool feature, but oh well. Uh, the arm itself is amazing in that it's just like how it is in the show, and it has its own unique spinning and, like, arm movements, different than an average Black Series figure arm, which is a great thing for Echo, because Echo is now more machine than he is man, but they never actually really follow up on that in the show, do they? Um, anyway, this is the fourth out of six figures I... Only have a few days left to review Omega and then Hunter. Don't worry, their figures have more pros to say about them. And I honestly don't hate this figure. So much with all the yelling I've been doing, I don't hate this figure. It's one of my favorites. I just don't like the box. That's my main problem with it. And then the fact that the helmet's a nightmare, meaning I rarely even take the helmet off, which sucks because they got his face so accurate with Echo. And like how I said with Wrecker, how normally they try to take the like, animated characters and make them look more live action before they do it in uh, Black Series form, at least with clones. Don't get why. But they do. And um, yeah, it doesn't really make much sense. So there's that. But with Echo, it doesn't look like that. Just like how it was with Wrecker, this actually looks just like Echo in animation form. It's not like they tried turning him in live action. They just kept him in animation, which I'm proud of. Um, yeah, so overall, I do really like this figure. Don't get the wrong idea. I do. It has its flaws, but in all seriousness, if you do see one, I do recommend that you get one. The box is a bit of a bummer, but oh well. Um, the helmet, I wish it would be easier, but at the same time, I'm pr I actually do like that they made it accurate to the show. Yeah, so these problems are problems that get me angry, but there are problems that I can live with. So there's that. Also, his arm can actually make it like this, so he can actually hold it with both arms, which I think is a cool feature. Also, yes, I am purposefully stalling to make this video at 9 minutes because he's a member of Clone Force 99. This is Grand Admiral Thrawn signing off, and this figure is a 9 out of 10 because of those two problems. Um, look forward to seeing you in the next video.